Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back. It feels so good to say that. I haven't filmed in the longest time and I'm just really excited to like have time to sit down and do this because I just enjoy it so much. So for today's video I thought it would be fun to do a little influencers made me buy it kind of thing. Um, while I was not filming I was still buying stuff because I like stuff and I like makeup and I just like to try new makeup. So I wanna share some of the things that I bought with you guys. And also, you guys really, really loved the eye look that I did in, I can't remember the video, but I'll put up the look. And so I wanted to show you guys how I got that look. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. But before we get started, my name is Crystal and Bujo Beauty stands for my love of beauty and bullet journaling. I haven't said that in so long. Mm. So if that's your kind of vibe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the family, and let's just go ahead and get started. I think that was a pretty good intro for it being a cool minute. So yeah. So I'm gonna start with my base and I have two options for today. I got the Milani Screen Queen foundation. This is in the shade 480 Spice Toffee. This is not really my shade right now. I haven't seen the sun in a while, so this is a little bit too dark and too red for me. And then I also, oh, and this purchase was influenced by Julia Adams. And then I also have the M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion. And this one was influenced by Robert Welsh and he actually helped shade match me. He, like he helped me on Instagram and he like looked at some of my pictures and like we kind of decided which shade would be the best and he was right, I was right too. I was thinking this one, I got the shade Warm Dusk and this is what it looks like. I said I wasn't gonna use this today because, yeah, no, I'm not gonna use this today because it's expensive and I'm just gonna be washing this right off. I do want to try to film a couple of videos today since I have time. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Screen Queen foundation, but I'm going to mix that with my ColourPop foundation that I just have because I influenced myself to buy this because I was like, hmm, let me try this. This is a little bit too cool tone for me and this is like a little bit too red. So I'm going to mix them and hopefully they turn out nicely. I'm going to be putting those on with my Sonia Kashuk number 130 I don't even know if they still sell this anymore but it's just a domed kind of I think this is supposed to be a powder brush but I love using powder brushes for foundation I am rambling Ooh, yes for concealer I'm gonna be using my NARS creamy radiant and this purchase was influenced by like all the influencers I've been I've been buying this one for like a little while I just bought a new one, so that's why I'm including this in this little things that I bought. I guess Jackie Ina really put me onto this. She's the real reason that I purchased this in the first place, like in life ever. So I'm just going to use some right there. Oh, I'm so sad. I just realized that I forgot to use my Becca under eye, under eye brightening corrector. This purchase was influenced by Julia Adams. I'm so sad about Becca. Well, actually, I'm not that sad. I'm lying. I don't really buy their stuff, but I bought that and I really like that. And now they're going out of uh, business. So if you could cop one of those on sale, worth looking into. I have been using the monitor this whole time, I just realized, for this application. And I have not used my mirror at all. So let me get a mirror and like actually look at what I'm doing because I can't see. So I don't know why I'm like, yeah, the monitor's fine. My blending still looks pretty good though. And to blend that out, I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk um, beauty blender sponge thingy, whatever you want to call it. And this purchase wasn't really influenced by anyone. I just bought these because they're at Target. But I love how squishy and fluffy they are. And if you watch Andrea Renee, or if you don't watch her, she really likes these sponges too. And I'm just like, girl, I feel that. So I'm just gonna blend that out. Oh, and I went on top with my Rare Beauty concealer just for a teensy bit of brightness. So how have you guys been doing? Let me know in the comments below. I have like, 
I've really missed filming, but I've been really busy, like, trying to get my life together. And I'm, like, way behind on my journal, which is what I use to get my life together. So it's, like, if that's not done, I feel like everything is just not on track. And I should probably get a planner that I don't, like, need to do something with every month. But I enjoy that. So... I don't know. Now for my under eyes, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder. Oh my gosh, I just dropped it. I hope it didn't crack, I hope it didn't crack. Okay, it's safe. Ooh, that it didn't crack, we're still good. Cause, I don't know. I don't know if you saw the progression of the panic. I was like, oh, it's fine. And then the clink happened, and then I was like, oh crap. Oh my gosh, I just dropped it. But this purchase and basically all of my Pat McGrath purchases, not even basically, literally all of them, I only buy Pat McGrath because of Alicia, AKA Kinky Sweat here on the YouTubes. Um, yeah, it's all her fault. And I'm using this Alter Ego number four from their newest collection. For blush, no, not blush, for for bronzer, I'm gonna be using my Tower 28 bronzer. This was influenced by, honestly, so many people. Julia, Jackie, Andrea, everyone loves these bronzers, so I can't even put one person to it. But I'm gonna use this, ooh. It just says blush. It just says blush. But I'm gonna use this like tapered little brush. And this is actually, a little bit too red for me right now so I'm just gonna use it like very lightly because I don't really want to be like super red it's just not the right tone for me at the moment because me and son have not been uh, hanging out you know COVID for blush I'm going to use this Black Radiance blush. This wasn't particularly influenced by anybody, but it's cute and it's purple, red. It's called Brick House. Brick House. I think I'm going to do that every time. And to apply that, I'm going to use, honestly, I'm just going to wipe off this brush, this bronzer brush and use that one just because I already washed brushes today and I don't feel like using a bunch of brushes when I've already washed brushes you know what I mean so yeah just I don't want to so I'm just gonna tap it lightly into that because this thing is pigmented and just pop that right I don't know right here what wherever this space is all right, and that is it for my face. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit and we will do the eyes. Um, I am gonna put my eyebrows on just because that's what I'm gonna do. So for this eye look, I'm happy that you guys really liked it because I really, really liked it too. Um, I'm starting off with my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade White Pearl. And I'm just gonna put that all on my eye. So now that I have my base on, I'm going to put in my crease a cool toned kind of brown shade. I'm gonna be using my Dark Edit palette and I'm gonna use the shade Toffee, which is the shade right here. And I'm gonna use my Alter Ego number three brush to just pop that in my crease. And I did this just because I did bring up the base like to my crease and I just didn't want it to be like this pearly shade. I wanted to give it a little bit of depth, I guess, but you know, it's not really like, it's there, but it's not there. That's the kind of vibe that I was going for with this crease shade. I have gotten a lot of use out of this palette and actually 
Alicia influenced me, Kinky Sweat, to shop Vizier as well. Um, I got this ooh, years ago. They were having a sale. They do this, I think, every year. Um, you can get it on Muse Beauty Pro, but they were having a sale where you got like two of their edit palettes for, I, I'm pretty sure it was like less than $40 or something like that. Forgot what the sale was. It's been so long, but I got this one and the Rose Edit and I get so much use out of this palette. I don't know if you guys notice, but I feel like it's been featured in a lot of my videos. Um, it's just so good. Like, and I like that the shades kind of build up to the color. They're not like that from the get go because sometimes I want to be soft and then it ends up just being ham because I do be buying like pigmented or I try to, you know, because I want things to work for me. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like the slow build with this one, but that's it for the crease and that's it for this palette. Then for my liner, I'm going to use an eyeshadow just because I love doing shadow liners. Um, I suck at eyeliner, so this is like the best way that I know how to do it because if it's awful, I can just take it off and it doesn't like smudge. It's not like permanent, not permanent, but it's not like, you know, black and liquid liner which is a hassle to take off like if I screw this up I can just like kind of wipe it away so I'm going to take my this is a Sonia Kashuk number 107 it's like super tiny um and it has like that little angle to it like it, it points a little bit downwards I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna be using my uh Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity palette and I'm going to use Violet Void which is this shade right here it's purple shade and then I'm also going to be using um forgot the name Dragonfly Dragonfly which is this shade right here so um, I'm gonna start with just dipping into the shade I'm gonna use it dry first just to like map out where I want my eyeliner to go. And then I'm gonna go over that wet so that it's like intensified with, you know, the pigment and all that stuff. So now that I have that place where I want it, I'm going to go in with a wet brush and I'm using I dampened it with my setting spray and then I'm just gonna go over that line like I said to intensify that a little bit and I think that that's a good I guess tip for it you know if you struggle with eyeliner like me even if you want to use liquid eyeliner I would say like go in with like a light brown or a light color first and sketch out where you want to put that with like eyeshadow and then you can put the liquid liner on top of that. For the inner corner, I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna dip into that dragonfly shade, which is this shade again right here. Um, I love this shade so much. It's, it's one of my favorite shades in the palette. I'm just gonna use my pinky, dip into that, and then pop that right in the inner corner. And then for my lower lash, I'm going to take that same brush that I use for the wing liner and just bring that purple, same purple, just bring that down a little bit. I would recommend using a different brush. I'm using the same brush because like I said earlier, I just washed my brushes today after like putting that off for a cool minute. so. And that is it for this look. I will, you know, get in a little bit closer so you guys can see the eye. But that's all I did. I just used 
those three shades and yeah this is the eye look so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick and i'll be right back all right so here is the finished eye look i like i said i really love how this turned out um i love doing these kind of like chill I want to say wearable I mean I feel like every look is wearable but you know what I mean when I say that for my lashes today I am using these lash mother lashes um, it's the same it's run by the same person as with lash by Jenny she just rebranded and I really really like the rebranding I think the packaging is super cute it was cute before but now it's even cuter the lashes are really really nice um, these are in the style La Donia so yes I love these. I am looking for a good mascara, something that's like volumizing and lengthening, but mostly lengthening. I feel like I have a lot of eyelashes, but they're super short. So if you have any good mascara recommendations, let me know so that I can try them out because every one that I've tried, mm, you know, it's just, it's not for me. So let me know so I can try out some mascaras. But yeah, these lashes are fire. You should definitely get you some. I'll link the Instagram below. Um, but that is it for the eyes. Let's go ahead and do the lips and then we will be done. So for my lips, I'm gonna be using Minted Dope Taupe. All right, you guys, so here is the final look. Let me know what you think about the base down below. I love all of these products. Like, they just make me happy. I'm just happy to be doing makeup and like getting cute again because I have not gotten cute in a cool minute um, and I don't know I just really enjoy sitting down and just doing my makeup and talking to my camera which eventually will be on the internet for other people to see so yeah that is it for me today if you like this video give me a thumbs up um, subscribe yeah that's it i will see you guys in my next video i'm gonna try to start filming more consistently i think i have a schedule figured out for myself we'll see how that works um but like yo i've just been trying to get my life together i've been cooking a lot so stay tuned for maybe some cooking meal prep kind of vlogs um yeah but until then have a nice day have a nice night wherever you are and i will see you guys in my next video stay safe wear your masks and yeah bye